the second symptom of simping. You serve women instead of them serving you. It's one of the things my pops taught me a long time ago. Women are built to serve you, bro. He didn't say it like that, but I figured that out with the things that he was telling me. Get them to do this for you. Get them to do this for you. Get them to do this for you. Start small. Then increments. Go up in increments. I was learning this at 15, 14, 15 years old. Right? I was learning how to get women to serve me. Right? In a um, calculated way. Now, when I was in sixth grade, this beautiful chick, beautiful Indian girlfriend. My first real girlfriend. Real, like real, like it, it got real. I had girlfriends at elementary school, but this one was real. This was, for me at least, this felt real. She set the tone as far as like what I expected from any other girl after that. Because instead of me buying her flowers and like most guys was doing at that time, buying them flowers and buying them candy and buying them tapes and shit like that, she was doing that shit for me. Buying me candy for my birthday. She bought me the Outcast. Um, the the uh me and you, yo mama and your cuz and two. She bought me the single tape for my birthday. Big lollipop. She would call the radio station, uh, every night because everybody listened to the radio station. She would call it. Hey, I want to give a shout out to my baby Andre. Real talk. This was sixth grade, so I was used to girls serving me, but my tops, my pops taught me how to do it in a more calculated way. But. I said that to say that most guys are uncomfortable with accepting service from a woman due to social engineering. So society engineers you to be a beta male and to serve women. But women are happiest, right? And they're at their most feminine when they're serving you. That's too much game, right? But I'm going to let you know. If you feel, right, if the fact of a woman doing things for you, servicing you, giving her all to you, if that makes you uncomfortable, you're a simp. You can change that, though, by a little practice. But you're a simp if that makes you uncomfortable. Because real kings, real men, real alpha males, Chads, Tyrones, Pookies, and Ray Rays get served. This is why women chase these guys. Because these guys in a position put these women in a position to be feminine. Giving, nurturing, serving. You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying not to get too deep. You serve women instead of them serving you. And you get comfortable with the fact of accepting that service. If that makes you uncomfortable. And I know it do because I talk to many of guys and it makes them uncomfortable. Because they believe they should give, give, give to women. Right? You're supposed to protect women. You're supposed to provide for them. Cool. But... The, the pursuing, the serving, and the, the submitting, and women are supposed to do that. When they do that, they're the happiest. They're at their most feminine. And that same feminine, the way you feel masculine, when you, you and your masculine element, it feels good. That's how they feel, the feminine. When they get in their feminine, it's intoxicating. The man who can pull that out of them is usually the man that has them, and that's the man that they chase. The bad guys, and the pookies, and the ray rays, and shit. They know how to do this. So, 